Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The British Ministry of Defense Intelligence Services reported on February 24, 2024, that the Russian military presence in Ukraine has significantly expanded since the invasion began in February 2022. Initially deploying approximately 130 battalion tactical groups, Russia bolstered its forces with over 1,300 main battle tanks, more than 5,000 infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, and armored personnel carriers, APCs, and at least 100,000 troops. Despite suffering losses, including over 2,700 tanks, 5,000 IFVs and APCs, and approximately 350,000 military casualties, Russia not only replenished but also increased its military capabilities in the region. A battalion tactical group, BTG, in the Russian army is a modern, adaptable unit designed for mobility and flexibility in various combat scenarios. Comprising around 600 to 800 personnel, a BTG typically includes mechanized infantry or motor rifle troops supported by armored vehicles and a mix of direct and indirect fire systems, anti-tank units, air defense assets, and logistical support. This structure allows the BTG to engage in offensive and defensive operations, reconnaissance, and peacekeeping missions effectively. The Russian military's emphasis on flexibility is evident in the BTG's composition, which integrates different combat arms and support elements within a single tactical unit. The deployment of new troops and combat vehicles reflects Russia's strategy of attrition against Ukrainian forces, maintaining pressure along the front lines. Ukrainian defense intelligence estimates now indicate a Russian military presence of approximately 462,000 personnel, including land forces, Rosgvardia, the Black Sea Fleet, aviation, and support units, organized into nearly 38.5 mechanized infantry divisions. These forces are maintained at high readiness levels, facilitating continuous rotation and replenishment. Supporting such a vast military operation poses logistical challenges, requiring thousands of tanks, armored vehicles, and artillery systems. The conflict has prompted international diplomatic efforts to resolve the situation, with discussions at forums like the Davos World Economic Forum focusing on a Ukrainian peace plan and the broader implications for regional and global security. These talks underscore the complex dynamics surrounding the conflict and the concerted efforts to find a peaceful resolution. That's all for now. See you later.